correct? Any others? No. Right, good afternoon. Uh, today my talk will be about set play and the Swiss team. Dneska budem hovoriť, moja prednáška bude o zdanlivej hre v švajčiarskej téme. Right, so uh, let me demonstrate what the Swiss team is. Right, uh, now White has a ship here which is going to make the thematic try, or rather the logical try. Vysvetluje, čo je to švajčiarská téma, bielý má strelca, ktorý, uh, ktorý bude robiť uh, pokus, logický pokus. Right, so what white does as try is to take the pawn. Čiže pokus strelec zoberie pešiaka. And his threat is to move a to e5. Na e5. Right. Jaká je výzva? What's the, what's the situation? Mat tretím ťahom. Right, so he's going to threaten me here. And of course try will not work because it is try. Jasné, že pokus ne, nebude fungovať, lebo je to pokus. And the reason why it does not work is that black creates a flag for himself. A dôvod, prečo to nefunguje, je, že čierny si vytvorí únik na E3. Right, and of course, that, that's, that's no way to mate. So... Now, uh, this... H2, H2. H2. Bishop, H2. Oh, H2, sorry. Aha, uh-huh, wow. Yes, that's important. Right, uh, now... Uh, Now this has got to be playable after the key and after that's defense. Takže toto by malo byť hrateľné po, po úvodníku. And uh, you notice, uh, notice that there is set play in this, in this case. If the pawn moves down here, the bishop of course checkmates. Máme tu takú zdanlivú hru, krátku. Keď pešiak odíde, tak strelec na g dáva mat. And uh, for, so for some reason, white, white must, uh, must uh, not be bothered about the possibility of this pawn moving away. Sorry? White must not worry about the pawn moving away from... A toto je, toto je vlastne dôvod, že nemusíme sa starať o to, že pešiak, pešiak odíde preč. Right, of course, uh, if, no, black bet say it could block E3, it could put a dummy down here, and white catch it here, that, that pawn will not escape. Napríklad, keby na E2 bol dummy pešiak, tak uh, ten pokus funguje. Right, but that, that cannot happen, that it's, no, it's not possible. So, so what white has to do for the Swiss team is, white must change the threat to something that black cannot defend against. Čiže čo, čo česká téma je, že bieli musí zmeniť hrozbu na niečo, voči čomu čierny sa neubraní? Right, for, for, so if, you, if you've not uh, cheated and seen the key up there, uh, I hope you could solve it. It's not very difficult. <coughs> the rook comes here, and the pawn uh, prevents it from going any further. And in this case, there's no threat, it's a waiting move. And what happens is black moves his pawn, and now the 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 thematic try works po b5 funguje ten tematický pokus či strelec zahrá na d6 prebieha right works but uh, the threat is no longer this this is no longer the threat king escapes instead the threat is bishop c5 a teraz sa zmenila potom potom ťahu z pokusu sa hrozba zmenila na strelec c5 and in this case uh, Black, black can still move here uh, on to, to E2, but in this case it doesn't matter, and white still mates anyway. Right, so this is a, so this is a point of, uh, of uh, the threat, and, and we, do not, we don't need to worry about, white, about black defending, because this does not defeat threat. So that's, that's what I've added to the Swiss team in this problem. Right, 
right? So this is uh, this is something new. Yeah. This uh, this extra feature, right? So uh, we could go on to the second problem. There are only two problems. Takže teraz to, to, toto ukázalo ako taký, takú, takú novú vec, novú, nový prvok tej švajčiarskej téme, niečo základné a teraz ukáže druhú druhú skladbu. Right, so the, so basically if you would like to do this theme twice, not just once. Chce, on chcel urobiť? To by ste chceli urobiť. Áno, že, že to by sa patrilo toto urobiť dva razy, nie samozrejme len raz. Right, and, uh, Of course, uh, it seems a bit difficult to do an odd dog, so we will have some uh, fairy chess today. Ale keďže na to bolo príliš ťažké, tak si jahol po exošaku. All right, so if I... Uh, okay, we don't need to do that. I thought it bothers you. Because uh, what we need is... You just have the, the essential features. Uh, the king has to be on F6, and uh, where is the bishop? Should I help you? Uh, yeah, I think we could do that. I don't see it. I'm sure it's coming. Strauss, G4, G4. We don't, we don't need to uh, look too hard at the rest of it. Uh, these, these guys are zebras. So this, is, this zebra is protecting the square. And this is a camel. Uh, this camel guards uh, E5. All right, so you can see that uh, the bishop could checkmate down here, the rook could checkmate down here. But uh, that doesn't happen because uh, the rook comes here and he gets taken. And if the bishop comes here, he also gets taken. Right. Right. Uh, so this is not the case. Right. So you can see there's potential for a white grim shaw here. On, on the right here, we have a white grim shaw. And the tries are... The potential now we have a white grim shaw. Right, actually we have set play up there. Uh, we, we have set play, which is... Uh, the camel going to d4, which are taking camel. And knight uh, going to f3, rook taking knight. Those are easy. So of course, that, now this, this move here will guard the pawn, and because Sorry, that's uh, this square here. To the focus, Veja A3 drží E5. And because of this, uh, the camel doesn't need to guard the square anymore, and he can he threatens to make here. Ale hrozí taký to mat, pretože ťava môže pustiť E5, keďže Veža ho drží. And what is the reputation? Well, uh, this camel can guard G3. A vyvratenie je ťava na B4, kryjúc G3 and, and of course uh, the rook prevents the bishop from capturing here. So that's that's half the grim show. Uh, now if the bishop came here, bishop guards uh, G5. The rook no longer needs to guard G5 and 
and now notice that the threat is no longer, it's not, previously the threat, threat was uh, Hamel takes G3, and this is not threatened because Zebra can capture. But because he, he has now uh, taken the pawn away, and we, are getting, we now have the chance to, to move uh, rook e6. Rook takes e6. And because this does not defend against uh, the new threat, we don't mind closing off this line. Ten ťah, ktorý predtým vyvracal, fokus, ťava D4, na ňom teraz nezáleží, pretože hrozí iný ťah, hrozí veža E6. Right, and uh, the rest of it is uh, quite routine, you can move away and you, you still mate anyway. Or can come back. You can come back, yes. Čo teraz, keď ten, ten, uh, and you get your old, your old track. Je, zebra na E6. Zebra E6 ťahá niekam, tak bráni proti tomu E6, ale tým zase pustí G3 a vyjde, vyjde ťava vedie G3. Alright, so that's, uh, so that's all for the um, thematic mates. And there's one, I think, I think that, that's, that, that's a non-thematic variation. Toto je ešte netematický variant. And uh, no, you just have to capture it. Pesha Gashas. Pesha Gashas. On E6. On E6, okay. And you just capture him and the rest is routine. So very hard. Just visual your routine. Right, so one thing that we, we could notice, uh, we look at, uh, look at the themes that have been mentioned down there. Just uh, so that the themes that have been mentioned, that have been mentioned, that have been mentioned, So we had a uh, capture uh, reciproke which uh, is not very important actually. <laughs> and uh, we, we have a Winthrop dome down there which uh, actually was added by us. Uh, Winthrop did not actually find it for some reason. What is that? What is that? Vieli Grimshaw. Vieli Grimshaw, which was added to the hand, so we didn't find it. All right, so, uh, so that's all uh, for today, and I hope that uh, there's potential for, for the Swiss team, team to be developed in this way. Takže James, vlastne toto je, to, toto je jeho, jeho posledná ukážka. Uh, uvádza to ako príklad uh, toho, čo si myslí, že by sa dalo rozvíjať v tej švajčarskej téme, ktorú, ktorú vlastne v tej jednotkej vlohe predstavil. All right, okay, thank you. Ďakujem.